Well, we are in the middle of a chaotic time right now. Uncertainty. Well, it's important to stick together during the pandemic, and we're going to stick together with mental toughness expert Eric Rittmeyer, who is joining us now from Baltimore. Eric, you are a former Marine and expert in the fields of mental toughness. But on your Twitter page, you also talk about kindness, compassion, love, empathy, and unity. So talk to me about bringing all of these elements together to sort of help us get through this really difficult time now. We're in the beginning of summer. Fall is around the corner. We're hoping a vi uh, uh, you know, that there will be a, a vaccine ready. But what do you say to people who listen to you for, for strength and clarity? Yeah, you know, it's really a, a whole big hodgepodge of stuff, right? Right? It's like mental toughness, it's emotion, it's crying, it's getting upset, whatever. It's it, mental toughness in the simplest terms is just emotional control. And as a nation, we've become intoxicated in emotion. We're incapable of logical thought. What we need to do is to take a step back and to really understand that what we say and what we do words have impacts on other people we have to be very hypersensitive to the to the point that people are having a very difficult time right now because of the shutdown because of everything that's happening we have to be very sensitive to that okay so understanding that um you know that that is one part of the puzzle here but then it's taking that step forward in the way we interact with um other people and i think for a lot that is the key because so many of us are sort of stuck uh isolated away from everybody else so how, how do you make that work in in, in this reality yeah, the, the best advice I can give with that, Ray, if you wanted to take one thing and say, all right, Eric, what can I really do to, to make a difference or to better connect or to understand where people are coming from? I would say to practice at becoming better listeners. We are a society that does not want to listen. We only listen enough to formulate a reply. Hmm. We don't listen with the intent to understand. So when somebody's talking before they're even finished, we're trying to formulate our response. We can't totally acknowledge what they're saying if we're thinking about how we're going to reply to it we have to be better listeners yeah i think you're talking to me right now <laughs> that is a really important <laughs> distinction to make right listening just enough for a reply or really listening so that you can understand uh the other person's situation how about this point um maintaining calm you know in this volatile world that we're living in right now that is another thing that i think is for many easier said than done yeah, much easier said than done, Ray. That's very difficult. And to remain calm in volatile situations is a skill that does take a lot of practice. Where I would start with that, and the one bit of advice I give there, is to be aware of our triggers. We all have these triggers, these things that set us off. When we're going into situations where we might be approached by people that are going to say or do things that are going to upset us, we have to be mentally prepared for that. The more prepared we are, the better off we are. We want to respond as opposed, as opposed to react. We don't want to have this knee-jerk reaction, which is going to be emotion-based. We want to have time to respond to what people say. Um, and the final point here, you, you say learn good manners. Uh, we, we know why that's important, but why is that something that can help us uh, heal in this time? Because when you think of manners, you think of yes, sir, no, ma'am. I'm not talking about those types of manners. We're automatically assuming everybody does that, although not a lot of people do anymore. The manners I'm talking about are giving people just decent. When you're talking, I'm looking at you. I'm not going to cut you off. I'm going to let you finish your statement. I'm going to hear you out. I'm not going to look at my phone. I'm not going to look at the television when we're talking. It's these common things that when we do this for people, they make, we make them feel like our world revolves around them. We make them feel like they're important. We better connect with them, and they feel like they're being understood. But that's all they want. We don't have to agree with people. Mm -hmm. They just want to feel like they're being heard. Eric, do you, are you an advocate of making your bed in the morning? Is that something that you do as a <laughs> former Marine? You have to accomplish one mission every day, right? I don't get much else done during the day, so the bed's about all I get done. So, all right. yes, I do, and I bounce a quarter off of it. There you go. I figured you might. Hey, Eric, great to talk <laughs> with you uh, early in the morning. We appreciate your time, and stay well. Likewise. Thank you so much, Ray. Have a great day, buddy. All right, you too. Take it easy. 627, Scott, over to you.